Cultural heritage is the legacy of physical artifacts and intangible attributes of a group or society that is inherited from past generations. Cultural heritage includes tangible culture such as buildings, monuments, landscapes, books, works of art, and artifacts, intangible culture such as folklore, traditions, language, and knowledge, and natural heritage including culturally significant landscapes, and biodiversity. The deliberate act of keeping cultural heritage from the present for the future is known as preservation American English or conservation British English. English, which cultural and historical ethnic museums and cultural centers promote, though these terms may have more specific or technical meaning in the same contexts in the other dialect. The ethics and rationale of cultural preservation Objects are a part of the study of human history because they provide a concrete basis for ideas, and can validate them. Their preservation demonstrates a recognition of the necessity of the past and of the things that tell its story. In the past is a foreign country, David Lowenthal observes that preserved objects also validate memories. While digital acquisition techniques can provide a technological solution that is able to acquire the shape and the appearance of artifacts with an unprecedented precision in human history, the actuality of the object, as opposed to a reproduction, draws people in and gives them a literal way of touching the past. This unfortunately poses a danger as places and things are damaged by the hands of tourists, the light required to display them, and other risks of making an object known and available. The reality of this risk reinforces the fact that all artifacts are in a constant state of chemical transformation, so that what is considered to be preserved is actually changing, it is never as it once was. Similarly changing is the value each generation may place on the past and on the artifacts that link it to the past. Classical civilizations, and especially the Indian, have attributed supreme importance to the preservation of tradition. Its central idea was that social institutions, scientific knowledge and technological applications need to use a «heritage» as a «resource». Using contemporary language, we could say that ancient Indians considered, as social resources, both economic assets like natural resources and their exploitation structure and factors promoting social integration like institutions for the preservation of knowledge and for the maintenance of civil order. Ethics considered that what had been inherited should not be consumed, but should be handed over, possibly enriched, to successive generations. This was a moral imperative for all, except in the final life stage of sannyasa. What one generation considers, "...cultural heritage", may be rejected by the next generation, only to be revived by a subsequent generation. <laughs> Types of heritage Topic. Cultural property Cultural property includes the physical, or «tangible» cultural heritage, such as artworks. These are generally split into two groups of movable and immovable heritage. Immovable heritage includes building so which themselves may include installed art such as organs, stained glass windows, and frescoes, large industrial installations or other historic places and monuments. Movable heritage includes books, documents, movable artworks, machines, clothing, and other artifacts, that are considered worthy of preservation for the future. These include objects significant to the archaeology, architecture, science or technology of a specified culture. Aspects and disciplines of the preservation and conservation of tangible culture include Museology Archival science 
conservation, cultural heritage, art conservation, archaeological conservation, architectural conservation, film preservation, phonograph record preservation, digital preservation. Topic: Intangible culture. Intangible cultural heritage consists of non physical aspects of a particular culture, more often maintained by social customs during a specific period in history. The concept includes the ways and means of behavior in a society, and the often formal rules for operating in a particular cultural climate. These include social values and traditions, customs and practices, aesthetic and spiritual beliefs, artistic expression, language and other aspects of human activity. The significance of physical artifacts can be interpreted as an act against the backdrop of socio-economic, political, ethnic, religious and philosophical values of a particular group of people. Naturally, intangible cultural heritage is more difficult to preserve than physical objects. Aspects of the preservation and conservation of cultural intangibles include Folklore Oral history Language preservation <laughs> Natural heritage Natural heritage is also an important part of a society's heritage, encompassing the countryside and natural environment, including flora and fauna, scientifically known as biodiversity, as well as geological elements, including mineralogical, geomorphological, paleontological, etc., scientifically known as geodiversity. These kind of heritage sites often serve as an important component in a country's tourist industry, attracting many visitors from abroad as well as locally. Heritage can also include cultural landscapes natural features that may have cultural attributes. Aspects of the preservation and conservation of natural heritage include Rare breeds conservation Heirloom plants Topic: <inaudible> World Heritage Movement Significant was the convention concerning the protection of world cultural and natural heritage that was adopted by the General Conference of UNESCO in 1972. As of 2011, there are 936 World Heritage Sites, 725 cultural, 183 natural, and 28 mixed properties, in 153 countries. Each of these sites is considered important to the international community. The underwater cultural heritage is protected by the UNESCO Convention on the Protection of the Underwater Cultural Heritage. This convention is a legal instrument helping states parties to improve the protection of their underwater cultural heritage. In addition, UNESCO has begun designating masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity. The Committee on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights sitting as part of the United Nations Economic and Social Council with Article 15 of its Covenant had sought to instill the principles under which cultural heritage is protected as part of a basic human right. Key international documents and bodies include Athens Charter, 1931 Rurik Pact, 1935 Hague Convention for the Protection of Cultural Property in the Event of Armed Conflict, 1954, with a definition of cultural heritage item adopted by some national law Venice Charter, 1964 Barcelona Charter, 2002 regarding maritime vessel preservation ICOMOS 
The Blue Shield, a network of committees of dedicated individuals across the world that is committed to the protection of the world's cultural property, and is concerned with the protection of cultural and natural heritage, tangible and intangible, in the event of armed conflict, natural or human-made disaster. International Institute for Conservation National and regional heritage movements Much of heritage preservation work is done at the national, regional, or local levels of society. Various national and regional regimes include Australia, Borough Charter Heritage overlay in Victoria, Australia, Canada Heritage Conservation in Canada, Chile National Monuments Council, Chile, China State Administration of Cultural Heritage, Egypt Supreme Council of Antiquities, Estonia Ministry of Culture, Estonia. National Heritage Board Estonia Garnahana's Material Cultural Heritage Honduras Secretary of State for Culture, Arts and Sport Hong Kong Heritage Conservation in Hong Kong India Ministry of Culture India National Archives of India Archaeological Survey of India Anthropological Survey of India Culture of India National Museum Institute of the History of Art, Conservation and Museology List of World Heritage Sites in India Indian Heritage Cities Network, Mysore Heritage Structures in Hyderabad and Cultural Heritage, Handcrafts and Tourism Organization Japan Cultural Properties of Japankinia Monuments Macedonia Institute for Protection of Cultural Monuments Malaysia National Heritage Act Namibia National Heritage Council of Namibia National Monuments Council New Zealand New Zealand Historic Places Trust Pakistan 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 Monument Philippines National Commission for Culture and the Arts National Historical Commission of the Philippines South Africa South African Heritage Resources Agency Provincial Heritage Resources Authorities Amafa Akwazulu Natali Heritage Western Cape Northern Cape Heritage Resources Authority National Monuments Council Historical Monuments Commission United Kingdom Conservation in the United Kingdom English Heritage English Heritage Archive National Trust United States of America National Register of Historic Places Zimbabwe National Monuments of Zimbabwe Topic. Issues in cultural heritage Broad philosophical, technical, and political issues and dimensions of cultural heritage include Cultural heritage repatriation Cultural heritage management Cultural property law Heritage tourism Virtual heritage Topic. Management of cultural heritage Issues in cultural heritage management include Exhibition of cultural heritage objects Objects conservator Adiography of cultural objects Storage of cultural heritage objects topic. See also Values heritage Antiquarian Collecting Heritage Film International Council on Monuments and Sites Architectural Heritage Digital Methods in Preservation Digicult ERPANET Intellectual Property Issues in Cultural Heritage Michael web portal